Invitational coming to you from the banks of the Willamette River. It is a picture perfect day for riding and we have got some of the best BMX dirt riders on the planet who have converged in the beautiful Pacific Northwest to see if they can walk away with the title one step closer to a Dew Cup championship by the time we reach Las Vegas and the Dew Tour Championships. The rules are simple. We have 11 riders because Ryan Nyke was breaking his left wrist last night in the park course. Normally 12 will now run with 11. They get three runs. Only your top two runs combined count. Alongside six-time Dew Cup champion Jamie Bestwick, I'm Todd Harris, as we get set to roll into our competition. Tiffany Simons will also be joining us down on the course. This is our first competitor. This is 20-year-old Jai Tui, comes to us from Australia now. He said one of his goals is to backflip over McDonald's one day, but right now, Jamie, he's got more important things on his hand. Yeah, he definitely has. He's got these junks built by the legendary TJ Lavin. They've got some unique features. We've got little rollers in front of the first set, and then on the third set, we have a roller in front of the jump. When I say roller, it's just a little roll. Just a little roll, that's all it is, but it's enough to throw off your concentration, because if you don't get that right, that trick ain't happening. So a lot of minds are being changed on the first jump and the third. Get Jack ready to try. It. Beautiful, big no foot can can there to get things started in a backflip. Cannonball. Nice turn down over the long and low. Perfect. If you're coming out here in the sunshine, you need a good first run. Jai Tui just laid it down. So Jai Tui puts down his first run of three. Remember, we will only keep the two highest scores. Combine them together, and that will get the overall score. Jai Tui coming out of the gate using the right side for speed. Yeah, definitely. Two rollers on the right side, sorry, single roller on the right side makes it a little bit easier, but still, big tricks like this front flip over the last set will definitely help his score here today. And in super slow-mo, you can see just how complicated these tricks are. It's all about that core strength. Look at that. He's looking through his bike all the time, looking to spot that landing, because that is the finale. So their scores are on a scale of 1 to 50, 50 being perfect. He'll rank with a 43.13. Remember, it's three runs. We only keep your top two. We'll combine them, and that will be your overall score. Moving on to our next competitor of 11 here in the final. 21-year-old Colton Satterfield comes to us by way of Orem, Utah. Now, here's a guy who used to exercise a little bit of mojo. Last year at this event, he broke his foot. Yeah, tough break for him last year, but I really like how Colton is molding himself into this kind of well-rounded BMX rider. It's BMX dirt, it's BMX park, it's mega ramp. He's doing everything right now, but the one thing he isn't doing is getting through that right-hand side of the jump. Don't forget, there's two rollers before that first jump, and it's throwing a lot of people off. The reason why TJ built the course like this is because he wants the true dirt riders and the highly skilled riders to be able to get through. And look, he goes on the left side, it's a little takeoff into a lower landing ramp, two rollers, and then over that first set. If you don't get that first set yeah. right, it's good night. It's not happening. And that is not the start that Colton Satterfield wanted. And for the folks watching at home, Jamie, they're wondering, well, he didn't crash, why did he stop? Right there, all his momentum pretty much puts the brakes on. You have to land these jumps perfect because they're a momentum thing. You constantly need the speed in order to get to that last hit and do something big for the fans and for the judges. 40.56, so you saw him give the thumbs down on that. He's got two more runs, but remember those two more runs better stick. Our next competitor will be 27-year-old Cam White, originally from Canberra, Australia, now residing in Las Vegas, Nevada. For more on him, we check in with Tiffany. Well, a big welcome back to the 2008 Dew Cup champ, Cam White. He missed all of last season due to knee surgery. This guy has been out for 10 months doing rehab. He finally got back on the bike two months ago, and he told me he's been riding out in Vegas, which is where he lives, and he said, Health and comfort-wise, he feels at 100%. His goal coming in here today was just to make it to the finals. All right, thank you very much, Tiffany. Cam White, 27 years of age. Jamie, what's going through his mind coming off the torn ACL? Well, you know, he just wants to put in a good performance. Cam's a former Duco winner. You know, that it's a tough start. Like I said before, these jumps are taking a lot of people out. You have to concentrate 100% of the time. Every jump needs to be done perfect. You get the roller, you hit the jump. You need the speed, but also, in the middle of this, you have to throw a big trick because this is a judge sport. And at the end of the day, 
those points, they take you to the championship. And just to follow up with what Tiffany said, he comes off reconstructive surgery on the knee just last year, and here he is competing in the final. Look at that, just overcooking the flip whip a little bit and not being able to get that second jump. But Cam White, only guy on course right now with a full face helmet on. So, you know, he's taking this thing very seriously. 40.69, he'll want to throw that away. Just to remind you, it is three runs. We only keep your two best scores. Combine them for your overall score. So this is 25-year-old Anthony Napolitan. He resides in State College, Pennsylvania. He is the first person to land a double front flip. Did that on the X Games at the Mega, but he separated his shoulder in early 2010. So mixed bag of results now for Anthony Napolitan, looking to put it all together here at the Dew Tour final. Yeah, but Anthony's coming off a really solid win out in Germany. But back-to-back Dew Cup champions, Cam White, Anthony Napolitan. Can Napolitan get it started here in Portland? Nice roller set, big back flip over that first one. Got the speed to it, front flip transfer, huge. Napolitan, and there it is again. If you don't land perfect on these jumps, you will be punished. Napolitan feeling the full force of those jumps. And you talk about the punishment, the transition not smooth enough, you lose your momentum, and you don't have enough speed to clear the next jump. It's not about the transitions being smooth enough. You have to land them perfect. Look, here's the backflip. Well, look where he lands, perfection. He's on that down slope, he's got the speed for the front flip. If you don't land that front flip perfect, next jump ain't happening, and he overshot it a little bit. He pumped that roller for all it's worth, but it still wasn't enough. So smart to pull out for Anthony Napolitan, knowing that he didn't have the momentum to clear that last obstacle. His score of 41.44, he can throw that away. He's got two more runs to make it stick. When we come back, we'll see Ben Wallace and company take to the course here in Portland, Oregon. This is the Portland Invitational. The Dew Tour, built by Mountain Dew, is brought to you by Pantech, the official handset sponsor of the 2011 Dew Tour. By Toyota. By Ally Ride Shop, where you can shop for all your favorite brands. And by Mountain Dew, it's different on the mountain. This course de designed by BMX dirt rider TJ Lavin, icon in the sport has a lot of these competitors baffled right now. Jai Tui leads the way with a 43.13. And you saw just moments ago Cam White rocking a full face helmet. Well, after TJ's injury, he says anyone who rides in his backyard, you have to wear the full face helmet. Yeah, it's definitely a smart move. Full faces are the way to go, but a lot of guys like to ride in the half shell too, so it's your choice at the end of the day. But uh, I'm really happy to see this young man on course. Did a great job in BMX Park last night. And this is his first BMX Dirt Final here at the Dew Tour. 24-year-old Ben Wallace on course. Nice 360 look back there. Super speed. Boss Binder turned down over that long and low with a no-hander. Beautiful triple whip. I didn't even think Ben Wallace could do triple whips. What a run for Wallace. Nice way to open up his first run of three. We're only keeping the top two scores. This is his first Dew Tour Final. He made both park and dirt finals in Portland, so Portland's been very good to him. That's right, look at this first hit. Power move, 270, 360 look back. The 270 is the degrees that the bars are in. And then look at this last jump. Triple tail whip from a guy who I didn't have pegged that could do triple tail whips, but it seems like everybody and their cat these days can fire out a triple on demand. And Ben Wallace looking for those pedals the whole time. Perfect landing, great run. That's solid riding from Ben Wallace in his first outing here at the Dew Tour. And I was taken to task by an English gentleman. He is not from Bournemouth, England. He's from Bournemouth, England. 24-year-old opening things up nice with a 44.19. So that is the best score we've seen so far. Remember, three runs, and we only keep your two best and combine them. So there are the standings right now as we are five into this field of 11. Remember, Ryan Nyquist unable to compete. He would have made it 12. Kyle Baldock, the 20-year-old from Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. This kid is sensational. That's all I can say about him. Just get ready to be amazed. I love this kid. He's so good. He has so much great energy to give to the park and the dirt course, and I'm really stoked that he's in this final right now. Look at that, he went out the camera screen. Big boss in the no-hander, X up over that. Boom, front flip tail whip, oh my goodness.
goodness. Honestly, these young Australian kids are taking BMX to a brand new level right now. This is the kind of rider that TJ Lavin had in mind when he designed this dirt course. I'll tell you, I, I beg to differ. I don't think he had this guy in mind. He had Chris Doyle in mind. But this guy's just showing you that he can hang with the trail bosses. Look at this. Snap goes the front flip, bang goes the tail whip, sticks that landing. Perfection. All right, super slow-mo it. Definitely. Look, he gets the snap, and he has to get the whip going at the same time. It's an early catch, and then it's all pulled from here. He uses that last leg to draw him around, bring the bike in, and securely put his foot back on the pedals and spot that landing. Well, you make a good point. I don't know if TJ Levin had that in mind when he created this course. He didn't think the 20 overall Australian would be able to throw down a 44.81. Remember, that's based on a 50-point score. He gets three runs, but that is a nice way to open up your first of three runs. So Baldock throws down the best score so far. That takes us to Chris Doyle. Now, a now, true dirt rider. Now, this is the guy that TJ Lavin had in mind when he built this course. I'm telling you, there's one transfer on this course, and only one guy is going to do it, and that's your man. And I'll, and I'll tell you something. Beneath that helmet are locks of gold. He had this most beautiful haircut before this contest started. Will that slick back style take him to the finish here in Portland? He just got best wishes from TJ Lavin, the course designer at 30 years of age, residing out of the steel city of Pittsburgh. Chris Doyle at 6'3 is now on course. Here we go, folks. Big downwind transfer, I told you. Look at the speed and, oh my gosh, 360 invert Doyle on course right now. Nice oh, three yes. to finish. That's BMX, and that's what TJ Lavin wanted from the riders here. Chris Doyle finished eighth last year in Portland looking for something special, and uh, I don't know if it was the haircut or what. Let's talk about the transfers and what Doyle does and why he excels so well on this course. Right, here we go. He's going from the right side all the way to the landing on the left side. Look how big that is. Not only does he go high, but he also has to travel the distance to that other side, and it's a staggered jump. The left side is a little bit shorter than the right, so he has to blast across it. And this, this is the three whip in super slow motion. Whipping the bike with one foot, looking all the time to catch it with the other. That's perfection from Doyle right there. So will it be enough to put him into the lead on our first runs? And some of the heavy hitters are yet to come, but Chris Doyle with a fantastic first run to open things up. A 44.69, a second high score in run number one. Give a little shout out to the Steel City, that's all right. That's all good. We would be 12, but we are 11. Ryan Nyquist, a real legend in the sport, breaking his left wrist last night in BMX Park. You know, I know Nyquist is saying he's happy, but a lot of the fans and, yeah. you know, even a lot of the BMXers up on the course, they're all bummed that Nyquist is not here this afternoon. He's always a major player in any final. The 32-year-old from San Jose, California, will have to sit this one out. We hope he recovers quickly <laughs> to get back to competition. This yeah, is 20-year-old you know, Dennis Anderson from San Diego. California. This guy started racing BMX bikes at the age of eight, saw the light, went freestyle, and remember, he won both dirt and park in Salt Lake City last year. Oh my goodness, Dennis Anderson just did a 360 bossman dropping on that left side. Cannonball to Superman. Nice whip over that long and low. Double Bossman suicide for Anderson. My goodness, that was solid. If you're a big fan of the buffet style of eating, this is your rider because he puts so much out there on the table. We wow. need super slow-mo to go through a Dennis Anderson run because there's so much going on from the minute he drops in. You know, that was action-packed, and I can't wait for this start. Watch the drop-in off that little kicker. 360 Bossman into that landing, and that's just the start. He hasn't even hit the jumps yet. There we go. Bossman, late no-hander, solid riding from Anderson. This last trick, look at him. He grips the bike with his calves and then spins the bars and hands go back. Nyquist is famous for doing that trick. Dennis Anderson paying homage to a guy who's out today.
And again, the landing, almost picture perfect there for Dennis Anderson. That was a stellar run. The judges appreciate it. Give him a 45.31. So he has the best first run thus far. It's Anderson, Baldock, and Doyle.